Judge Trump very happy with his first session's work. Time to get the players on the table then for session number two here at the Crucible. Here's our MC, Rob Walker. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Now to a session involving four players who've amassed more than 60 years of Crucible experience between them, and they know each other's games inside out. Those two have been going toe-to-toe -to -toe since they were 12. And on this side of the divide, it's a professional rivalry that dates back 15 years. Time to find out which two players will take a step closer to the quarterfinals here on day seven at the one and only Kazoo World Snooker Championship. <laughs> Please welcome a player who produced a superb win in his 20th year at the Crucible. From 7-6 down, he won four in a row against an inform Ali Carter to secure his 13th appearance in the second round. Twice he's made the semis, six times a ranking event winner. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes Stephen the Maverick Maguire. Here I his opponents back in the second round for a 14th time after a comprehensive victory over Liu Heo Chan. Seven half centuries and an excellent break of 111. Three times a runner-up, champion here of course back in 05 and winner of 12 ranking titles in all. A class act on and off the bays, Sean the Magician Muppy! <laughs> to a player re-emerging for his first appearance in the last 16 at the Crucible after 20 years as a pro. Now firmly established in the world's top 16, this is the climax of a superb season and he'll be determined to close the gap. Some say there's a passing resemblance between us, so would you please give it up for the exceptionally handsome Tom Ford. <laughs> Finally, to a player making the most of his 12th second round appearance, 13 years after his first. An emphatic second half of the opening session sees him racing ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the most decorated left-handed player in history. The one and only ace in the pack, Judd Trump. <laughs> So we're ready to go for the seventh afternoon here at the Crucible. Just a reminder, over on Discovery Plus, you can watch the first session of Sean Murphy against Stephen Maguire, one of the standout ties of round two. But here, Thank you, Tom Lang. Ford of Leicester has a lot to do to stay in touch with Judd Trump this afternoon. He started the match well, won the first frame on the black, potted an unbelievable blue on his way to stealing that one. Was level at two each, but Trump pulled away after Ford missed that chance in the fifth frame. So Trump with a very nice four frame cushion, but of course the winning line is still a long way off. 13 frames required to go through to the quarterfinals and a meeting with either C. Jai Wee or Jack Jones. Jones leading 6-2 after their session. And it's good afternoon to the 86 champion of the world, Joe Johnson. Good afternoon, Philip. And everyone, wow, close. Yeah, big turning point, if there is turning points. But yesterday, he missed a simple red, Tom Ford, and should have gone 3-2 up. He lost that frame to go 3-2 down. Didn't win another frame. His concentration was rattled. His confidence sapped. But today is another day. 
helps if you bring Shark with you. He brought his little hand warmers with him, but forgot his chalk. I'm assuming they're designed to keep your hands warm, those little pouches that he's got, or maybe to keep them cold, I'm not sure, it depends. Trump has had a phenomenal season five ranking titles. In terms of the ranking events, he is the standout player. Of course, Ronnie O'Sullivan has won five titles as well. But Trump's consistency again this season has been off the charts. After what, for him, last season was a largely frustrating one, aside from winning the Masters for the second time. He didn't win a ranking event. He was knocked out in the first round of this by Anthony McGill. And his long potting seemed to go AWOL for patches of the season. That's well and truly back. But he's such a great all-round player now, Trump, isn't he, Joe? He's got all facets of the game sorted. Yeah, absolutely. And it's beginning to tell in the ranking events that he's winning. And a, well, a was very exciting player to watch. His highest break in this match so far is just 69, which by Trump's standards is modest, but it's been his match play that's really caught the eye so far. He had a tough first round draw in Hossein Vafai. He's a very dangerous player, as we know, but controlled that match for the lion's share of it to come through 10 5 in the end. Yep, that's pretty good. Without bringing the camera up, that was pretty good. Terry Camilleri, our referee. Yep. I think everyone's agreed. Ford, of course, celebrated his first ever win at the Crucible by beating Ricky Walden 10 6. And this is his fifth appearance here. And he's had a terrific season. He's definitely getting better and better, Ford, knocking on the door of a first big title. He'll be pretty happy with that safety. Yes, and uh, Trump won't be happy now putting him back in. Imperative that Tom Ford gets off to a good start. And probably set himself a little target of 3 1. First session, 3 1, second session. But I suppose if he could win the session 5 3, he's back in it. Oh. With shots like that, though, uh, not quite the right side of the blue. May have to take the yellow, but look at this for a pot. Superb. It's been his overall match play and his ability to punish his opponent's mistakes that have got Trump through the first round and in a comfortable position at the moment in this one. His highest break in the tournament so far, just 77. And John Higgins came through last evening against Jamie Jones with a top break of just 68, even though Higgins played a very solid match. So the breaks haven't been flying in in the way they have in previous years. I think that's got something to do with the slower tables and tighter pockets. Having to really whack the balls to get them anywhere. Now, is he on the red? Three. The first round tally of centuries, 25, was the lowest since 2015 when there were 23 in the first round. Mm. 
there. Excellent plant. Four. He just refuses to stop scoring. The red just above the black is available. And if he could get onto that black, that would really open the door. Just a little shorter pace, but he may be able to use the red above the red he's playing to hold for the black or pink. He's played superbly. Choice of either colour. He'll be targeting a session win of any kind this afternoon. If he achieves that, then the match is virtually won. Just threatening to be wide of the mark with that black, but it's dropped despite the U's and the R's. 15. <laughs> 16. It's great to watch Trump working the cue ball in and out of positions. <coughs> Leaving himself absolutely perfect on the next ball. 23. It's just little shots like that where he's so nice on the red. He doesn't have to 24. do much with the cue ball. Oh, he is a little short of pace here, so he might take the opportunity to go into them. He's got some insurance with the red that's loose. And again, couldn't have played it any better. 31. Little switch to right handed. Like it though. Thirty two seeking his tenth World Championship quarter final this year, Trump. Made his debut back in 2007 when he lost to the man on the opposite side of the dividing wall, Sean Murphy. Came of age as a professional in 2011. He won the China Open in the build-up to the World Championship. That was his major breakthrough. And then, of course, toppled defending champion Neil Robertson in round one as Tom Ford watches on and then went all the way to the final with some breathtaking potting and was 12-9 up in that final as well against John Higgins. Ford concerned that this already hefty deficit is going to be widened further by the end of this Trump visit. Well, it certainly should be, shouldn't it? He's got the balls just as he wants them. And already 52 with that red in Forty front. Eight. And every chance that he's going to handily eclipse his highest break of this tournament so far. As mentioned, a modest 77. We're used to Trump firing in centuries left, right and centre. He's made 76 of them this season alone. Only 23 shy of 1,000. When you consider he turned pro in 2005, that is some conversion rate right up there with Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's got a 13-year head start on him. 
So just this red, and something we noticed, both of us yesterday, Phil, is that he started to speed up, and he's carried that through to today. 64. So this blue, to make sure. I think when he arrived here last year, he wasn't full of confidence. It had been a largely disappointing season by his standards. 70. But of course, 12 months on, the story is very different. Oozing self-belief with those five big titles, three of them back to back. Only the fifth player in the history of the game to achieve that and to do it in this era when the standards are so high and the strength and depth is so deep. Seven seven. All the more remarkable. Eighty four. Again, a little switch to right handed. Still, we've done it slightly, but should be okay. Now, let's see what it does to leave an angle for that red on the cushion. 92. In the meantime, this black for his 75th century at the Crucible Theatre. Great start. Caught the red, but not thick enough. He's looking to cut this into the corner. Incredible. There we go. Just doesn't know when to stop potting balls. These days, though, the naughty snookers say for when the frame's won. Look at this. Wow. A dazzling break of 107. What a start to the afternoon from Judge Trump. His first century of this year's World Championship. Tom Ford's problems are mounting. Trump leads seven frames to two. Tom Thank Ford down, leaving the arena just to regroup. This time he's remembered his chalk. <laughs> but he sat out a quite superb century there from Judd Trump, who extends his lead to 7-2 and can break the back of this match, of course, this afternoon. They're back tomorrow morning, in theory anyway, to finish this match. And Trump will want as little as possible to do when they do resume. He'll want this over and done with as quickly as possible. But for Tom Ford, I'm sure he's still thinking about that fifth frame, which he should have won. And then the first session has a different look about it. But he's not won a frame since the fourth. The overall head-to-head -head favors Trump, 11 wins to five, including two here at the World Championship. They were both in the first round. Oh, he's caught the wrong red. Oh, what damage has he done, if any? He's left a red right over the pocket. Yeah, you can see it. So this is a really good chance for Tom Ford. This is exactly what Ford needed, Eight. a really good chance early in this session. 
to restore a bit of confidence, a bit of flow to his game. Five straight frames now have gone against him. But we know what a prolific break builder he is. Yeah, he's made five maximums. And he has had 16. the best season of his career. Runner-up, of course, to Zhang Ander at the International Championship in China. Three other quarter-final appearances Seven. in ranking events. He lost out to Ali Carter last season in the German Masters final. So he's become a lot more consistent in the last couple of seasons in getting to the sharp end of big events. Eighth on the one-year list coming in is testament to that consistency. And he can be very dangerous because he's a very natural player like Trump. He gets on with it. He scores quickly. Well, that's four reds, four blacks, fifth black coming up. Of course, the frame. You'll be trying to make sure of first. It'll be in his mind, though. No doubt about that. Not afraid of maximums. Having made five. Four. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Seventh black, only another eight to go. Fifty-six. Added incentive this season, of course, in the Triple Crown events for the perfect break. Yep. Anyone who makes two of them across the UK Masters and World Championship will bank a £147,000 bonus. First things first, though, for Ford. Get the frame one. Get a foothold in this session. Try and stay in contention in the match and then other things can be considered. And he's still a few balls away from clinching the frame. Sixty-five. Yeah, it's possible he could pop this black and still lose. So he needs another red. Seventy-two. An inopportune moment for a cough, and rightly stepping back off the shot, refocusing. Oh, and there's another one. Goodness me. The red means that Trump would need a couple of snookers. Thank you. 
Thank you. So the frame's won. This is a tough black. Oh, it's just wide. What a shame. No maximum, but Tom Ford desperately needed that frame. And barring a couple of snookers, it should be his. And that's what you call screwing a ball. The red behind the pink in a lovely spot for snookers. Eight. Well, I think that's a snooker. I wouldn't mind betting that the trump of five, six, seven years ago, whatever, might have conceded this frame, but these days he is a teak tough match player as well as being a great break builder, great potter. He's in a great position in this match, 7-2 up. But he wants Tom Ford to earn this frame, even though at the moment Ford is firm favourite to do so. Trump is going to make him work for it. Just gone as bad as it could, really. It will cut to the corner. No idea what's happening to the cue ball. Great shot. Great shot. And what about this for a positional shot? If it misses the red. Wow. Well, he'd have been bang on the red near the right side cushion there. As it is, this is ultra thin. It's in, though. Nine. He's not giving in without a fight. Sixteen. Now, if he was, if he could win, he'd bring that red off the cushion. Seventeen. Still needs two four-point snookers to win this frame. I'm worried to do it. I think that would be the final straw for Tom Ford, who for a few moments was contemplating the possibility of a 147. It would be unthinkable to lose the frame from the position he was in, but Trump is doing his best to make that happen. 23. Yeah, still two snookers with a black. And this isn't going to be far away. Trump, I think he might just be able to swerve it.
Yep, that's what to do if your opponent needs a snooker. Make sure they can't get one by laying one yourself. Now, chance to put this game to bed. Get his name on the board. Goodness. You could well look back at that misread. Two snookers is not beyond the realms of possibility. It's unlikely. Now, can he get through the gap? I think he can. Relief for Tom Ford in the end, but it was a very nice break after John Trump had made a mess of his safety. The Reds were there, but he still got to take them, and Ford did. Four. Basically, he has to win this session today if he's to maintain realistic hopes of winning the match. Nine. 5-3 this afternoon and he'd be back in it just two behind when they come back tomorrow morning. Anything worse than that? 13. Very unlikely with Trump playing as he is right now. Thirteen and five. Tom Ford makes it one all on the afternoon and closes to within four again. Judge Trump leading by seven frames to three. Tom Ford will be feeling a lot better for getting his first frame Thank you. since he won the fourth to level at two all. Tom Ford Still with a lot of work to do, but a break of 73. Close the gap to four again. Ford does actually have a win over Judd Trump at the World Championship, but it was in qualifying. That was in 2010, before Trump had really adjusted to life as a professional. It happened the following year. Ford's most recent win over Trump, the World Grand Prix, three years ago. Yeah, just trying to get that cue ball back into a safe area. But he hasn't succeeded. That kiss on the yellow has left Tom with a chance here. see the red I thought he could see Now, chance to get that cue ball in behind the yellow or down by the green. Because if he tries to get behind the yellow and misses the snooker, he leaves the red on. So although that was the favourite at first glance, he's decided against it.
That was guaranteed. And now it's Trump's problem. I don't think he's covered this red. <laughs> yeah, lots of left hand side, sorry, right hand side on the cue ball to check it back down the table. Look at the side here, taking it away from the reds finish nicely on the blue. No choices here. He could play for that red directly above the black or he could go into them. He could bounce off the cushion fairly hard and play the red to the left of the pink. He's got quite a few options here. He's placed nicely on the blue. Decided to play for the red above the black. Nothing wrong with that. May Six. able to bring more reds into play here. Seven. Certainly in the ascendancy at the moment. 40. Winning the safety, doing the scoring. Got to keep it going though. 50. And those aren't gimmies, believe me. And he just knocked it in very confidently. Trump just waiting for the chance. Ford has always been a very capable player, very talented cueist, but something that he has worked on in the last couple of seasons has been the mental side of things, his temperament, and that's clearly paid off because his results have been so much more consistent. He's been in three ranking finals now, two of them in the last couple of years. And of course, broke through to the top 16 for the first time this season, playing here as a seed. And has already broken new ground here by winning a match. 20. So everything is very positive right now. But of course, Having set up this crack at Judd Trump. 29. He wants to go further. Oh, he stays out. And that's what happened in frame five. It wasn't a gimme, it was a cutback and he was going into the reds. But he's left it on the lip of the pocket with an easy red to start with. It's not the easiest table this to win the frame from, but he's given Trump a chance to get right back into the match, into the game, should I say. thing is that Trump will know 
and this will hurt Tom Ford if he could punish him here. It wasn't easy to get onto a red, so he made sure that he would have a pot at a red by playing it the way that he did. Eight. Nine. And now if you can take that red below the pink, that releases the other two reds into the left corner. And this is looking 40. a little easier now. Still got those three safe reds closest together. 15. Shorter pace. One of the features of Judd Trump's performance against Hossein Vafai in the early stages of their match was his ability to punish when Vafai wasn't quite able to kill a frame off, having built a lead, having got in first, which he did in almost every frame in the first session. He was clinical. He wasn't at his best in terms of his break building, but his match play was impeccable. And here's another opportunity to make his opponent pay for that Miss Black just now. Plenty of work to do, but Trump, as we know, so good at engineering breaks when things don't look promising. Thirty one. Thirty seven. Thirty eight. Well, that's one of the awkward reds off the cushion. could bring or try to bring more reds into play 43 but if he could does play that shot he'd have to play it at speed to get that cue ball out here we go and that's brought them all out 44. This is going to hurt Tom Ford if he can win at this visit. It didn't look like he could win, but he's manoeuvred the balls. Keep that foot on the ground. Look at Terry Cavalier looking at that foot. Thirty in front with the black, so a 
red and another black would be enough. Oh, look at that. Inch perfect. 59. This has been a typical Trump break, really. The table wasn't ideal when he got the chance, but he's managed to manoeuvre things 16. sufficiently well to stand on the cusp of an 8-3 lead. Well, it was downright tough when you came to the table. Four reds on the left side cushion. Frame ball. He just looks so confident, Trump. All aspects of his game in good shape. This is the black that Ford missed, which wasn't a gimme. But of course, in the process, he opened some reds up. There were still plenty of difficult ones, as we've talked about, but not difficult enough for Trump. It's not over yet, though, Philip. It's one snooker. And that's happened 67. so many times before. Blair needs a snooker, he gets it, he wins. There's nothing safe. What a terrific break that was, nonetheless. Absolutely. It certainly goes. It certainly goes, and it's gone. <laughs> I was about to say, it certainly has gone. <clears throat> Trump started this session with a century, but the 67 he made just now, just Trump one. every bit as good Frame, just in one. terms of the quality that he showed in promoting those awkward reds. He's five clear again at eight frames to three. Chad Trump, five clear then. And what an excellent standard it's been this afternoon. Trump starting with a century, Tom Ford replying with a 73 that just for a moment, looked like it could turn into something historic with the maximum on. And Trump has just responded after Ford missed the black with a quite brilliant 67 to retake that five frame advantage. Yeah, and that's his great strength, isn't it? Trump's the ability to punish. He refused to come away from the table. He just kept knocking balls off the cushion. And I'm sure when Tom went back to his seat, he thought, well, I've got four or five safe reds there. But it didn't prove to be the case. And he's left a chance early doors for Trump here. Yeah, just got a little bit too much what? screw into the cue ball. <coughs> Heavenward glance as a result. It was a good strike, and Trump is close to 75% now in this match with his pot success from distance, which is very good. Just annoyed that he didn't get position to go with it on this occasion. Trump one. Short of the balk line, but hasn't left a, a path back to the balk area. Balk cushion, should I say?
Now oh, that's a brilliant shot. Absolutely brilliant. He was leaving reds on had he missed that. What a brave shot to take on for Tom Ford. Incredible shot. Well, that shot alone deserves to win this frame. Whether they will or not, that's another thing, but... You need to have... Eight. Well, not just bottled, but... You need to be brave enough to take it on in the first place. Eight, three down. He was looking at nine, three, had he missed it. Never thought about missing. In a way, he was kind of forced into taking it on, wasn't he? There was no safety shot. 16. Could have played the containing safety shot, but decided to go for the jugular. The only way Ford is going to win this match is by playing to his strengths, and that's undoubtedly his potting and break building ability. The problem is he's up against someone who's even better in those departments, but that doesn't mean that Ford can't get back into this. He's now looking to share this mini session. Well, that's unlucky, isn't it, to cover the black? Split the reds beautifully. Yeah, I was just thinking that if he'd have played it with screw, he'd have come the other side of the black. That's so unfortunate, though. And now, well, maybe he'll take the blue one. It's not as difficult as the red he got in with. If he plays the safety, there is a red near the middle pocket that he's got a cover. Ready to pounce if he makes the wrong decision. It was all or nothing. Tom Ford, 24. Although, where the cue balls landed, not an easy shot to the middle. And it could be even more difficult to land on a colour. There goes the red. Now, is it going to be on a colour? Too One. hard. Wasn't easy to try and land on the black. So for a change, Tom Ford doesn't pay the price for being positive. Wrong. Well, it's a similar situation, this. I can't see it. a decent safety shot, so it might take that long red on. He's forced into taking this on. No, played the safety. Big target here to try and get in behind the green and pink. Not far away.
determined to attack Tom Ford. What's the damage this time? I don't think the red will go past the blue. And you could try and leave the cue ball on the black cushion here, down by the left hand side, left hand pocket. That's an option for him. Oh. Well, that's a disaster. Oh. So from four. He got so much screw on the cue ball there that he managed to find the middle pocket. Ball's flying about all over the place. But now Trump has a chance here. Not an easy table for colours. I think there's only the green. One. And the black, of course. Win this frame and Trump is guaranteed to be ahead going into the final session, but will remain on course for a lead that is going to be too big for Tom Ford to claw back. The green will go on the pink spot, which does him a favour, actually. Four. He'll try and concentrate on the black, but the green's always there, isn't it? It's like the pink. Just four points less. Five. But it keeps the break going. And now he can play on the ball that he wants to play on. <coughs> Hasn't come far enough for this red, so we play for the green now. Sixteen. And it's not, that's the importance of having the 17. green there. Probably play for the black this time round. If he isn't on it nicely, be on the green to the middle. 21. 28. Twenty-nine. Yeah, those balls going towards the pocket. They seem to be going to the right, the opposite way to what they should do. Still going in. Thirty Six. points the difference. So if he could take two reds, two blacks here, he wouldn't need that red next to the pink. <laughs> I don't think 
think he's worked the score out. He now needs that red up. next to the pink. Because he's had to use the green in this break, which is unusually on the pink spot. It's taking longer to get to the winning line than it would otherwise have done. But as long as they keep going in for Trump, 41. it's okay. But he is going to need that final red to make the frame safe. 25 in front, 32 with the black with 35 left. Yeah, and if he could leave a good snooker, get in behind this red, leave a good snooker behind the pink. He misses the snooker, there's 36 in it. He slipped up a, a couple of shots ago. He could have played for the black, but played for the green. And another black would have left 36 in the game. Somewhere there, if he could land somewhere there. Yep. Doesn't want to be dead on the cushion. Doesn't want to be dead. Well, not quite so easy to leave the snooker. Not impossible. Heavy contact, which took the pace out of the cue ball. Hit the wrong side of the red. So this game isn't over yet. 32 the difference. It's a good job it didn't go in. He needs the colour from that red. Trump, of course, only needs the red. And it's there, and it's right in the middle again. His long potting has been outstanding in this match. It's been great all season. One. It's a big reason why he's become a serial winner again in this campaign, and things looking pretty bleak at the moment for the Leicester man. Yeah, two snookers needed and he should be in one here. Pink. Pink going onto the cushion. White behind the black. Just Trump one. And Tom Ford has conceded, so Judd Trump has won the first mini-session of the afternoon and tightened his grip in his bid for a tenth World Championship quarter-final. Tom Ford has it all to do now. Trump guaranteed a lead going into the final session, but how big will it be? It's beginning to look like it might be unassailable. At the break, he leads by nine frames to three. He has had an incredible season, 22 consecutive victories at one stage, three ranking titles back to back, five ranking titles in all and three other finals. Extraordinary. Tom Ford with not much to shout about there besides that break that he made, a 73, which might have been a 147. It's been Trump holding sway, a combination of heavy breaks and some punishing visits after Ford had made a mistake. It's the all-round package from Trump, and that's why he's just four away from his 10th World Championship quarter-final appearance. Ford has surely got to win this mini-session now to have any chance at all. Back come the players. Four more frames, then, in Thank session you. two. A reminder on Discovery Plus, it's Maguire against Murphy. Maguire currently <laughs> leading 2-1. <two -one. laughs>
Tom Ford then breaking off. He's Tom not lost Ford, his man. sense of humour. He nearly lost his chalk at the start of the match. He's rather lost his way in this session, having lost three of the four frames to trail by six, which means Trump is guaranteed a lead. But at the moment, Joe, it's feeling likely to be one that is unassailable. Well, as you said, he, he desperately needs to win this session 3-1. Who knows, you know, if you can win it 3-1, you can win it 4-0. But something has got to happen. That wasn't the best kiss. So this is an early chance. One that you feel it's got to start taking. Yeah, good pot. One. Potted it a little bit thick, and that's why the cue ball hasn't travelled round onto the blue for the middle. But doesn't need to do too much. There's a red that will go to the right corner. Just got to make sure of the pot. And that will do nicely. This red leads to the black. Six. As I say, potted it just a little bit thick there, but finished nice on the blue. He's just looking to see where he wants to be on the black to get to the next red. Seven. That's a nice little cannon he's played there. Fourteen. It wasn't straightforward that had to leave the cue ball. In such a place as to be able to play that cannon. Fifteen. And now it's looking a lot rosier. And all you can really do in this situation, which is obviously precarious in the extreme for Ford, and he's missed the black off his spot, is try and stay in the moment, Four, treat 15. each frame in isolation and forget about the overall match score. Of course, the reality is that's difficult and that probably explains why he's missed that black. I just think he didn't take care. He just thought it was a gimme. And there's no shots gimme. You've got to keep your concentration fully at this game because one shot can change a whole match. We've seen it so many times. Eight. Well, that shot's not going to change this match, but if it happened to Trump, it might. Nine. Got to take care on the easy shots as well as the hard ones. Sixteen. Seventeen. Taking the opportunity to open more reds up and played it with a lot of side on the cue ball so that he'd finish on a colour. Well, again, went into the pack of reds, but 
this time he's not on an easy red. It's an extremely thin cut to the left corner. And he doesn't want to allow Ford back to the table. And that's kept the break going. And there's no one better in the game at doing that when things look like they've come to an end. Trump can pull out these shots to maintain a break as he's done there. But the Brown has eluded him. So Tom Ford has escaped this time without too much damage from that Miss Black off its spot. And he's going to get another good chance. Well, it's a good chance, Philip, but I don't think the black will go. Pink and blue down the other end of the table. Uh, I'm just saying if you can pop this red, get onto the green and come back down the table for the red next to the black. That would open the game up. One. Uh, if I were him, I'd be trying to get onto that red next to the black, to the right of the black. Let's see if he plays for that red. Well, this is another good shot to get the pink back on its spot. That gives him a better chance now. Seven. Could have done with being a bit closer to this red. Eight. Oh, a fraction harder. He'd have had a simple pink to the middle. As it is, it's missable to the bot corner. <laughs> well played. Well played, but didn't quite come far enough for this red next to the black. He doesn't have to take it this time round. He could play the red to the left corner, pink, and back for that red. Nicely played, nicely on the black. That wasn't quite so good. What a big shot. Yeah, well played. of very important balls there he's potted Trump had the opportunity after Ford had 
Missed the black off its spot. Mr. Brown in trying to get back to the Reds at pace. Ford desperate to convert his second frame of the afternoon. Is that going to reach? <laughs> yeah. I think he aged a couple of years while that was <laughs> heading to the pocket. Yeah, he wasn't, and we wasn't sure. He's catching that near angle that don't normally drop. No, he just needs to take stock and take care. 35. Red and a pink. 41. Well, it seems safe. 42. Now, needs to look at the scoreboard. Just make sure of the pink. And in it goes. He would have feared the worst when he missed the black off its spot. With the red spread. But this time, Trump couldn't take advantage. This time, yet. Yeah. Comfort 48. 39 the difference. One snooker to tie with the black. Wow. He needs the black. He needs the black what? from this fluked red because I don't think he played to pot it. So I'm still in this game, Judd Trump. Eight. Judd Trump, eight. One snooker to time. That's the snooker, and it's missable. Got to be aware of the free ball. Nicely hit. There was danger there, and that's a little bonus. Not only has he got the snooker, but he's put the brown safe. So if Trump does get the snooker, that makes the clearance a little bit more difficult. And this yellow. Well, it's not exact. It's not exactly left this. This is a tough shot. Oh, a little kiss, and then it goes. And now it's two snookers to tie. But once again, Judd Trump, who these days is a mean match player as well as a 
the pyrotechnic potter still battling on. A little rub on the black there, and it would have been a, a good snooker. And this time, Judd Trump concedes defeat. Some light relief for Tom Ford, but he still trails. Nine frames to four. Thank you. Tom Ford has his second frame Three of the day, 14. but he's still in a world of trouble. With three more to come in this session. Nine four behind. But relieved, no doubt, that the Miss Black off its spot. Didn't prove expensive on this occasion. Got Trump breaking off then in frame six of the eight this afternoon. I think just having a quick word with referee Terry Camilleri to remind the audience, particularly in those front rows, to remain still and quiet when the players are on the shot. Oh, terrific. Yeah, that's what he needs. Great shots. And when you win a frame, you always feel a little bit more confident, but this isn't straightforward. Good pot. And nicely on the red. Now, he missed an easy black last time round. Eight. Missed an easy red time before. Cut out the easy misses. Nine. Tom Ford, nine. It was awkward queuing, wasn't it? He still fancied him to pot it. He's disappointed. Second frame in a row. Miss Black off its spot. We'll be hoping for a similar result One. to the previous frame, but Trump back in. Always takes the opportunity to bring more reds into play if he can. Nine. Seventy. Okay. 
Yeah, he played for the red to the left of the pink there, just below the pink, knowing full well that he was on this red to the middle if he didn't get there. 25. No choice of reds to play for. Left-handed player may well play for the red to the right of the pink. Didn't get into the cue ball enough, so not Third. ideal on this red. But he might decide to open the reds up from this red. What a shot, what a shot, and he's going to be on the brown. And that could be the winning shot in this frame. Tremendous amount of screw power to get that cue ball down the table. And he's still got the pink and black available. Thirty-five. Bird's eye view of this wonderful crucible theatre. Mid session interval on the other table, two each. Murphy and Maguire. Thirty-six. All of this, of course, the result of another Miss Black from Tom Ford. There have been three of them off their spots in this session. The first one was tricky cut back, the other two relatively routine. He was slightly hampered on the black he missed in this frame, but you saw his reaction, he missed it by a distance. 43. Yeah, we mustn't forget, being 9-4 down, those slightly hampered shots are difficult. Absolutely, it's so difficult to put the match situation out of your head when you've got so much to do against a player who's bang in form, who's had an incredible season, who's oozing confidence. Every shot becomes that much more difficult than it would normally be. Fifty-one. Yeah, I think Judd Trump has played a different game ever since stealing that fifth frame that Tom Ford fifth could have and should have won. He was walking around the table slowly. He didn't have a bounce in his step, unlike now. And he's had that bounce since frame five. Forty three points the lead. Fifty eight. Don't want the kiss, and that's 50. a mistake. 50 points the lead, but 59 still on the table. Wanted to slip past the black, black there, and it did go to the left corner. So he'll probably put the green safe on the pink. Green. He was slightly on the stretch with that shot, which perhaps contributed to failing to get position. It's a healthy situation for Trump to be in in his bid to move six clear again and with within three of victory 59 remaining
Yeah, it seems a lot, doesn't it? 59 points in front. But really, at, at this level, it's one shot because if Tom Ford could get in, he'd have a good chance of clearing. The green not entirely safe. Just a little pacey, six inches slower would have been a snooker. Very difficult to play safe off these type of reds when it's close to the cushion. So easy to catch it too thick. And so easy to miss the ball. Trump now one red away from clenching this frame. Cue ball seems to be turning to the left there. Down four, four. Give me four points back. Now then, just caught them a little thick, but look at the reds. If Tom Ford could get in, and there's pressure on this red to the left corner. Trump pots it, the best Ford could do is tie the frame. Big shot. Brilliant shot. Emphatic from Trump again from long range. He's just so good at those long shots, isn't he? And Tom's going to be in trouble here. Wrong. Right in the middle. Trump one. So Ford has got to hit a red here, otherwise he's at the snooker's required stage after that brilliant pot from Trump because there was pressure on it.
Well, he's hit one at least, and he's got the cue ball back towards the right end of the table, so that could have been worse. <laughs> I'll say. Brought a smile to Ford's face, that one. Even so, if Trump sinks this, it's surely 10-4. Doesn't look like missing with those mid to long distance pots. Only 43 left now. Three snookers for Ford. I'm not taking any chances. And Tom Ford, well, he can smile about it, but he's in. A world of trouble here. Judd Trump now, 10-4 up. Judd Trump has a 77% pot success oh, rate from distance in this match. Over 14 frames, that is outstanding. More than three out of four. And it was another clean one that clinched the previous frame. And there was jeopardy attached to it had he missed it. There was always the chance of a forward counter-attack. And the pressure on Trump is obviously very different to the pressure Ford is feeling. The pressure on him is to convert this huge lead and ensure that at the end of this session, his dominance is reflected fully on the scoreboard. For Ford, obviously, he's got to find a way back from a pretty, at the moment, hopeless-looking situation at 10-4 behind. Winning the last two frames a must, but at the moment, nothing's really happening for him. Tough red to the middle for Tom Ford, but missed it on the right angle. If you miss it on the other angle, you leave the red on. Now you can see that the red next to the black will go into the left corner. So could play for it. Play for the black, that is. Oh, a let off. Now, Tom, what can you do? He's getting plenty of support here. He got in first in the last frame and he missed that tricky black, hampered over the red. He's played for the black there, and it was easier to play down for the blue. I don't think that was the right shot to play, playing for the black. He was thinking maximum, and you can't afford to be leaving yourself those type of blacks when you're 10-4 down. The shot surely was to have played down for the blue. Come back down for the Reds and an early chance for Trump. One. Uh, he could have played for the red by the black spot, but he wasn't sure if it would go or not. Eight. So he played down for the red by the middle. Nine. Now the red next to the black will definitely go to the right corner. So he could very well play for it this time round. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Yeah. 
30. Fearing the worst after another Miss Black. 31. Yeah, no, putting more reds up, although at this moment in time, just opened a couple. May be able to get to that red near the right side cushion. Well, he was thinking about going into the pack of reds with a lot of top spin right hand side on the cue ball. But you can afford to play difficult shots when you're 10 4 up. There you go. Oh, never touched them. Thirty. But finished pretty good on this red. A difficult shot coming up. Stunned to the cushion with left hand side. Then obviously enjoying it. Look at the side. Stop moving the pace. Oh. Got so close. <coughs> 44. Knew the moment he hit it, it was there, the shot of a super confident Joe Trump. He just doesn't know when to miss, does he? How about this for an effort? Uh, <laughs> and they're geeing him on, aren't they? And why shouldn't it? So much power. And a great effort. But he's going to have to play one of those. What do the Carnick feel? A safety. A safety shot, that's it. It's outlawed in this match, surely. <laughs> Thought he was contemplating cutting it in then. So Trump, 50. Another <laughs> half century from Trump. 49 in front, still plenty of reds there for Ford if he does get a chance. But Trump keeping the pressure on. Well, he just might take this one on, you know. Heart in the mouth time there. Thought he hadn't hit it hard enough. And he didn't. So Trump in again. One. And a 50 point lead. success a full 10 percentage points better than Ford at 92 to 82 if anything it feels higher than that he's missed very little of consequence
Sveik. Just about got the angle on the pink to give those reds a nudge. Needs another red. Now, is he on this red? It's 11 1 if he is. That would be harsh. Sorry. 11 4. Uh, can you see it? Difficult to tell from there. Yep, just the red needed. And now formality. It's going to be 11 4. Tom Ford looking to snooker, Trump behind the blue. To no avail. 18. Trump now looking at right. certainty to win this match at some point, but of course, looking at the bigger picture for him, given how arduous the World Championship can be with the long sessions, he would love to get this done. 25. With the minimum of fuss in the final session, he can put himself within one frame of clinching victory when they come back 26. tomorrow morning which could stand him in good stead for the rest of the event. Barring something extraordinary from Tom Ford to turn this around. Have you ever seen shots like these? That is incredible. Slamming the pink into that middle pocket, screwing the cue ball back across the table. He just loves to entertain. I'll tell you what, we love to watch him. Pop one from there. 39. <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> Swerving round the green to pop the red. Even brings a smile from Tom Ford. Seeing is believing. There is nothing safe when Judd Trump is at the table. There's nothing he can't do with a cue ball. 45. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> well, I'll say it again. Pop one from there. <laughs> Sensational snooker from Judge Trump. He's turning on the style. And Tom Ford is in a world of pain. A couple Thank you, more miracles. Shots from Last Judd Trump's repertoire at the back end of the already clinched 15th frame. 11 4 up. Currently winning this session 5 2. We have, of course, seen 11 5 deficits overturned before at the Crucible, most notably when Neil Robertson did it to Martin Gould the year he won the title. Sean Murphy did it against Matthew Stevens in the best of 25. Yeah, I remember number two in the world, Tony Knowles, was 11 5 down to Eddie Charlton. And Eddie Charlton came back and won. It can happen. But you've got to turn on the style. He's striking the ball so well. One. And would surely have been on the black without the kiss on the pink. Just slightly hampered by the red for the blue. 
So I'm playing the safety. Just drop one. For all the flair that Trump has shown, it's been when the frame has already been won. His match play throughout this match, and indeed against Fafai in the first round, has been absolutely spot on. He's kept the pressure on. He's played for snookers. When Ford has got himself in a winning position. But when the opportunity is there to attack and to entertain, he'll take it. You just can't miss, can he? I mean, he played that shot with a lot of right-hand side on the cue ball here to avoid the reds. Still caught them. But what a pot with all that side on the cue ball. Amazing. Definitely shades of what he produced to beat Higgins to win this title five years ago. Black will go, but where does the next red come from? There goes the black. Trump can't pop one from there, so just the safety. Just Trump, eight. Good safety that from Tom Ford. Had to swing the cue ball past the red on the ball, the black cushion. Yeah, caught them too thick. Now, is there a chance here for Tom? Can he see that easy red to the right corner? Because the red to the middle is tricky. This is such a tough red to the middle when you called, been outplayed, you didn't miss. And that's what that man does to you when he's playing well. 
You just stand and go for a shot in case you miss it. And that's why he hasn't played this red to the middle. This red to the corner. I'm not sure if he can hold for the black. One. Now is the pink on to the corner. Another real tough shot though. We can get eleven four down. Yeah, well played. Well played and getting so much support here at the Crucible. Yeah, cries have come on, Tom, and that was a really good pot in the circumstances. Seven. Ford must be feeling a little demoralised, but he got to somehow summon the blood for one last effort here. Eight. Well, it was a good opening red, wasn't it? Because it wasn't a gimme, that red. And he got that cue ball perfectly onto the pink. And this is a good chance to build a lead. 14. Just concentrate on each ball. 15. Could have done with being closer to this red. Twenty-two. Nice pot. Twenty nine. Thirty. Mm, slow down. Just a little heavy. Oh, well, it's okay. It, that's not what he played. He holds 36. his hands up, but it's turned out okay. Thirty-seven. Again, could have done with being a little bit closer to the black. That was tight, but potted it comfortably. Whatever happens for the remainder of this match, Tom Ford will be able to reflect on a very positive season. His best to date, the major final in China, three other quarterfinals, top 10 on the one-year list, into the top 16 for the first time, winner at the Crucible for the first time. He was obviously hoping for a very different state of play than the one he finds him in right now. 50. But if he can finish this session on a high, the goal from here has got to be to make Chad Trump earn this victory. At the moment, that looks overwhelmingly the likely result, but make him earn it. Sixty. Yeah, so just this pink because the red's over the pocket. And that will do nicely. What a break. Just at the right time. 67. Gives them a little bit of a life. Not much, but a little. 60.
And he's only lost this session 5-3, which doesn't sound too bad at all. The problem is it came off the back of a 6-2 reverse in the first session, and that's why he's going to have an enormous Seven, job on his hands when they come back tomorrow. But at least he'll take something positive from the end of this session. It's been very entertaining. Some of Judd Trump snooker has 80. been outstanding. 83. But Tom Ford reminding us of why he's had such a positive campaign. Can he finish with a century? No century, but he's won the frame. That's the most important thing. Judd Trump has taken a stranglehold on this second round match. Some of his snooker has taken the breath away this afternoon. And he stands just two frames away from his 10th World Championship quarterfinal appearance. He takes an overnight lead of 11-5, two frames away from the last eight. <laughs>